Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Arlene. Today we're making mushroom rice. As always, check in the description box the recipe, the breakdown, and the measurements for the recipe show up. Everything you need to know about the recipe is in that little box, okay? And for those of you who have been asking me um, some dishes for the holidays, I got my thinking cap on. I got you. Um, probably next week I'll start putting up uh, some videos uh, with side dishes for the holidays. Lean and green ones though. Okay, let's get started. As always, let me run you through the ingredients really quick. First thing we're gonna need is cauliflower rice, and today I'm using fresh because I didn't have the frozen one. So fresh cauliflower rice, but you can use the frozen one. Some white button mushrooms, chopped. Some scallions, also chopped. A little bit of uh, low sodium chicken stock. If you wanna make this a vegetarian dish, um, substitute the stock for the vegetable one and then omit the butter. I'll show you. Some fresh minced garlic. Some butter. I'm using Smart Balance and making it a vegetarian dish. Substitute this for olive oil and then you're good to go. And then the stock for vegetable stock. Equally delicious, if not better. And some cumin, just for a little flavor, a little something something. Okay, let's get cooking. First thing we're going to do is to our skillet, we're going to add our Smart Balance or olive oil, whatever it is that you're uh, using. And we're going to wait until this melts completely. We want it to melt but not burn. So we're going to melt it slowly. Now that our butter has melted, we're going to add our mushrooms. And we're going to cook the mushrooms until they are brown and they're going to turn super small. You want to do this slowly because you don't want them to burn. And you want this brown and soft. I'll be back once they're browned. Our mushrooms are nice and brown. Now we're going to, you see they soak up all the butter. We're going to take them out of here and place them in a little container and we're going to leave those for a little bit. In the same skillet without rinsing, we're going to add our cauliflower rice, the garlic, the cumin, this is going to give it flavor and the chicken stock and we're going to cook this until that cauliflower is completely soft if you're using frozen it'll take less time i'm using fresh but it might take me a little longer i'll be back once this is completely cooked okay the rice is, is almost cooked but the liquid hasn't evaporated completely, so I'm going to continue to cook, but I am going to add my scallions. I want, to, I want the scallions to cook a little also. We're going to combine everything really good. It's looking really good. The liquid is evaporating. Just use the chicken stock or the vegetable stock as you think you need it. I used a quarter of a cup, and I think that did it for me. If you're using frozen, you'll use less because it's already cooked. Ah, that looks so good. It smells amazing. Now I am going to add the cooked mushrooms. I am going to combine everything really good. Oh my gosh, yes. Beautiful. That looks fantastic. And there you have it guys, my version of a mushroom rice. I'll show you a picture. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you on my next video. Enjoy!